my gosh. It's in their boutique section though. Oh my god! <laughs> no, this is much more my style. When did you do all this? Hey guys! We, I think you guys are a little dirty, hold on. We are on our way thrift shopping, but for a specific person, purses, a specific purpose I want to do a special thing for my mom for Mother's Day which is coming up this weekend it's Tuesday now so it's this Sunday this is the first Mother's Day that I have been here in a few years I normally send her flowers and that cute stuff but I'm actually here so we gotta do something cute. When I was a little girl, we used to go on picnics and we won't go to a park or anything, but my mom had in her front yard has this beautiful oak tree. It's, it's beautiful. They call it the Liberty Oak. And I wanna create like a really cute like picnic moment outside so she can have her, her Olivia, like her little puppy, and we can just have all of our favorite things. So I wanna make it really, really cute with like my vintage glassware. I'll put some inspiration pictures of what I'm thinking of. But I'm on a mission to find some thrifted stuff that I could use. Um, like a cute basket or like linens or just little kind of like inexpensive knickknacks that we could use for the picnic and then for life after so let's see what we can find <sighs> how cute would this be for our picnic oh my gosh it's in their boutique section though the antique splint gathering basket look how cute I need this in my life oh my god this is so pretty Vintage pink depression glass sprawl pad of France. Oh my gosh, $48, but look how pretty it is. Seen these glasses a couple of times and I think they're really pretty. I like how flat this is on the bottom and how they go up. I have too many pedestals, I think, to pet, like go up goblet style, but I feel like it'd be pretty for the pop-up. They're only 50 cents. This is kind of pretty, but I don't, it's only 25 cents. Or this bigger one for a dollar that might be chipped look at this really organic vase it's only 50 cents that's could be so pretty with some flowers in it oh i love me some brass this is cool two bucks like imagine that on like an entryway table to catch your keys oh my gosh yes sometimes when you go to the thrift store you know things just Come together. I'm of course finding stuff for you know the pop-up shop and me while we're thrift shopping but we also need to find like a really pretty blanket something really pretty I love this color how much are these this color is obviously so pretty oh Fabric on the blanket, maybe like underneath two dollars for this fabric. I feel like I could use that for something else too. That's actually a good piece of fabric. Oh my gosh, <gasps> look at this! I love this. Wait, we need this. Look at this collection, you guys. They have a lot of kind of blankets and stuff here. Maybe we can find something that would look cute. Oh, what's this? Three dollars, a twin blanket gray mm, it's cute not my favorite what's this oh i kind of like this 66 by 90 so that's like five and a half by seven and a half which is a good size i mean it's just like a lightly textured off-white oh ralph lauren it's cotton I mean, it's gonna wash well. I didn't think I wanted something solid, but I do like the texture. Something like this would be pretty for, you know, a picnic, for drinks, ice, lemonade. Oh, 50 cents. It's not as pretty though. This one's way prettier. It's cute. I think we need that. Okay, it has been a few days, and I did find a few more things for our little picnic. <laughs> situation so we'll do like a mini haul because i need to start cleaning all of this stuff up and kind of wrapping my head around how the picnic is going to look and what i need let me tell you we found this basket so it was marked 40 dollars, and i was like oh 
that's a lot, but it does look really vintagey. It was just perfect. I was on a mission to find all of this picnic stuff and it was like, the gathering basket is cute. I know it's not a picnic basket, but I actually like this better instead of it having a lid. When we got up to the register, the lady was like, ooh, $40. Even she was surprised it was marked so much. So she called back to the back. So she was like, hey, there's a basket for $40. What can we give, can we come down? She was like, yeah, we can give it to her for 20. Oh, that's so nice. No, and no, she did not know. I've been getting a lot of questions from you guys from DMs. It's like, do they give you a discount because of like your Instagram or something? I'm like, no, they don't know who, these are mom and pop shops. They don't know who I am at all. $20 is still kind of like, that would be a pricey basket that I would find, but it was just perfect for this little thing. So we have this. I need to clean that up a little bit. I found these baskets too. I went ahead and got them. I have this basket in LA. These were a dollar. I don't think that these were on sale. These were a dollar a piece. Still great. I have these as wall art, but these are going to be great for our pop-up shop, which may be a more of a real thing now as I say that than it was a few months ago. So coming soon. This blanket. So this was $4 and we have to throw this in the wash. I looked at a few more places that we went to and just really didn't find anything that was like this. It was a great kind of light texture. So I feel like it's gonna be really, and it was big. I feel like that's gonna be really good for our blanket. Found this guy. I felt like this would be pretty for um, lemonade or orange juice or like the drinks. This wasn't on sale either. This was two bucks, which was still good, but I found another one I'm gonna show you in there. We gotta clean, clean this up. And also, I just had to have this runner. This runner was a dollar. Like, what? Look how pretty this is. Yes. Okay, so I'll take, so that was a dollar. It was just a great runner to have. I've been buying a lot of glassware and a lot of um, delicate things. I save all of these and I bring them back to the little thrift store here down in Comfort so that they can reuse them. If you ever see me with plastic or paper or anything like that, I always take them back and reuse them. So you guys, I encourage you to do that too instead of just throwing stuff away. I also got this, this like organic vase. It was 50 cents. I also found someone crocheted this and I thought it was really sweet. So all of the linens and everything was all a quarter a piece. So this was 25 cents. I also got, I love finding different colored linen napkin sets you know, for dinner parties or, you know, obviously I shoot, I shoot a lot of photography too. So I always like to have like a variety of pretty linens. So this was a pretty mustard color. There were three. So this was 75 cents and I got this, say there was just one of these, but I liked it. Like this mossy green color, 25 cents. And I know that this is unusual, but I was kind of into this pink color. I feel like it will photograph really well when I'm doing stuff like that. So there were four of these. So this was a dollar and this $2 for this larger piece of fabric. I felt like that would be kind of cool to use for the picnic too, as like layers, cozier kind of buffalo check. I got this little brass larger pillar candle holder, 25 cents. This guy, I thought this was cute for like an entryway or you know, some place to throw your keys or just on a coffee table, maybe it was two dollars. Okay, let's go wash. I like to think I'm kind of tough. Sometimes I feel invincible. I feel like I got the right so stuff. This is the other one that I found quality glassware refreshing ice cold drink, and I loved the shape. It was three dollars. This place, all the glassware was fifty percent off. A dollar fifty. I actually like this one better than I like this one. I found this one first. It looks really cute, but I think I'm gonna use this one. So I wash this one. Cleaning glassware is self-explanatory. Baskets, it's pretty easy too. I used to be super scared to dunk my baskets in water. I think maybe someone commented that they're like, no, dunk them in. They're totally fine. Um, so now I run one water. Plug the sink, soap, and I just have a rag. I don't leave them for very long in there. I just want all the water to kind of like seep into all the cracks and stuff. I don't need no emotional support. Then we'll put them out here. Can we stay? Stay there. I'm sorry, I woke you up. No, no, no. Stay there. In the sunshine. I already have some out here that I have. 
I found this one in a rummage sale for like 50 cents. I thought that was cute. I decided to do a DIY video this Sunday over on the other channel um, just for a break from just house stuff and for my soul. I felt like for a while I haven't really done anything like really, really creative or actually got to see it come to life. We're doing a lot of creative decision making with the house, but you can't see that kind of manifest into real life yet. So it's not fulfilling me in that way. If you haven't watched the video, go check out the video. I made these vases and made them, made glassware look a little more casual. And I thought it would be pretty to put some flowers in there for my mom. Um, and also for like having out in the picnic. I feel like that's pretty where I see the wildflowers the most is they're always on the side of the highway. <laughs> I don't want to be on the side of the highway cutting wildflowers. I'm like pulled into the driveway of like a mini storage, but I hope we know what comes. I can hold my breath under the water. Yeah, I can take the pain and doesn't bother me. I accomplished it. I got some pretty flowers. Pretty and no one even came. So I was definitely in the right spot. I'm just gonna put them in the water right now until I can stage them and figure them out so that they, they don't will. But they're very pretty. Good morning guys. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. I woke up really early this morning and ran to the grocery store for all of the little fun food things and lunch to make the picnic. I'm running on adrenaline, I think. I've stayed up until 5 a.m. editing this Sunday's video, which will already be live when you see this. You know, it doesn't matter. You give me more time to work on something, the more time I have, the more effort I've been into it, the more editing I do. I was asleep at five and then woke up at 7.30, ran to the grocery store, so we'll do a little haul. I'm doing the picnic and we're gonna spend time together, but like, what's her gift? I found this a few I think months ago now and she loves it she saw it in there so i'm gonna give this i thrifted it for 3.99 and she loves it so i'm gonna give this to her i also got her a new case for her phone and it's a case of my case which brings us to the sponsor of today's video which is case defy you guys have heard me talk about them before i have used case defy for years since i had the iphone 7 I think you guys probably know that my mom is a painter so she loves like paint kind of abstracty things like this so I thought this one would be really pretty for her you guys are going to freak out when I show you the one I got for me <gasps> wait and they have other stuff too like screen protectors and even oh yes they sent me another mask they have those look at this <gasps> look at this they have Kinsley and coffee. They have other breeds of dogs too. I, this is so stinking cute. I'm so excited. I was excited to get another one because mine has drywall and paint all over it. And what I love most about their cases too is that they're really slim. The design is really slim, but they're super protective. So their impact case and their ultra impact case, which has these little bumpers on the edges here, which are also made of 50% recycled materials and an antimicrobial coating that keeps your case germ-free, killing 99% of bacteria. But what makes them so strong is two layers of chi -Tech, and they are drop test approved. They're impact case is up to six and a half feet and even more with the ultra case with the little bumpers on the side. Watch, see she's good, no cracks. One, two, three, job. <laughs> and see, she's good. You don't know how many times I dropped my phone. She's good. They come in tons of different designs too. You can pick your favorite color, your favorite print. You can even customize it like I did this one. Look how cool this one is. It's their Louvre collection. And I put Kenna and Romeo and then our anniversary. Very happy that I did that. So you can customize them with your name and stuff like that. I got this lavender one with my name engraved in it, and this is their compostable case. I was very into lavender for spring and summer. This is like very cute. If you are looking for a new good phone case, go to casedefy.com slash exomechino vlogs, and I'll leave it in the description too, so that you can get 15% off your order. Let me show you what I got from the grocery store, and then we'll start making lunch. Hey, a little. <laughs> A little grocery haul. My mom loves wraps, like wraps. Loves them. Every time she goes somewhere and she has wraps, she's like, oh, I had the best wrap. So I was like, oh, it'll be fun to make wraps. It'll be refreshing. Garden spinach and herb tortillas because she really likes those. 
and I cheated. I wanted to make my own chicken salad and I was a little bit on the time crunch and a little bit lack of sleep. So I opted for AGBs. Their deli makes really good mixes like this. They have all different flavors. So I got the rotisserie chicken salad for our wraps. Grapes. I opted to get these tomatoes instead of larger ones. Mozzarella cheese. I would have opted for a pepper jack, but my mom doesn't is, doesn't really isn't really a cheese fan, but she does like mozzarella cheese. So it's all of her favorites. Some romaine lettuce to put in there. So like a really simple wrap. Also, got some very aesthetic already pre-cut watermelon. Unsweet tea that's already brewed. Maybe I should have made more of this stuff now that I'm thinking about it, but garlic and herb pita chips and also some hummus. I also got some cubed cheese for our little charcuterie board that we're gonna make. We're going for a very aesthetic, visually pleasing, photographed picnic. You need a baguette. All the inspiration pictures have baguettes in them. And then we'll just, we probably won't eat the baguettes like this. Pair it with our dinners or something for the week. And she already woke up because she made her flowers. Look how pretty. She put them in a vase and cut them already. It's so good. So I did tell her that we are doing a picnic. Oh, I got a few more things. These things I actually got from World Market the other day when I went. Tuscan crisps, rosemary and olive oil. Crostini toast, grilled cro crostini toasts, olive oil and sea salt. So many to cut. All for our charcuterie board that we're gonna get. We have a family little Zoom call with each other. So my brother and his wife and my grandma and my mom and me for about 30 minutes. And then we'll make our picnic. My mom got this um, cutting board a while back. So we're gonna use that, a little round situation. I have some cheese, I salami, grapes. Does anyone else feel this way about charcuterie boards? It's like a simple, complicated, or simple, complex process. It's almost like, is it this easy or is it not? When in doubt, fill, fill space with grapes. That was good. And cheese. I think the charcuterie board may be more for me than my mom. Are you into charcuterie boards, mom? Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't think I don't have, I don't have nuts. Mom, do you want grilled crostini toasts, olive oil, and sea salt on your charcuterie board, or Tuscan crisps, Tuscan crisps, and rosemary and olive oil, which are made in Italy? These look fancy. Yeah, that was These, okay. okay. Ooh, those are fancy. This is just too cute to handle. I'm obviously not going to be dressed like this. This was just a run to the grocery store. Only real cute thing that I have is something I wore like right after I got it. I thrifted it. I found this silky kind of blouse. It's from a mango originally. It was like $3.50 at the thrift store. Found these polo denim pants. They're baggy on me, but I kind of like that. And they're just like such a cute color. Okay, I'm gonna change. Better? I mean, cuter, like definitely more like put together. Is it exactly like picnic attire? Maybe not. All of our clean linens. I washed everything, so let's Let's start with the linens and then go from there. I'll show you guys the Liberty Oak that's out in the front yard. That's just what people call it in the neighborhood. They call it the Liberty Oak because it's so pretty. Look at this oak tree. Is it not the prettiest thing? I don't know why, I'm like obsessed with this tree. Oh, it is warm. The birds fly south as the light leaves your eyes. It's the perfect size. Hold on to your dream Oh, I know you wanna scream Okay, so I've got our base material down and then I have that checkered material which is really pretty to add layers and dimension and I have a few other linens. Then I have our gifts. 
and our stuff. I just threw my my pretty notebook in here because I thought it was pretty. Sometimes it's about aesthetic, you guys. Oh my gosh, that looks so cute already. Flowers like right here. Oh my gosh, stop. <laughs> Now we need to go ahead and bring the food out, I think. I forgot about our watermelon. I just put some watermelon on this like white plate that kind of looks like the ones that I have out there. How stinking cute is this? It's too cute, I can't. Mom, are you ready for your Mother's Day surprise that you kind of already know about but you don't know what it looks like? I am. Keep your eyes closed. Yeah, keep 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 looking like that. <laughs> what is it for? I don't know. Are you coming? Yes, you coming? of course. Okay. Hello, Olivia. Look it down so you don't fall. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> I told you it was cuter when you got closer. Oh my gosh, look Olivia. Do you love it? I love it. I love it. I'm picking up my shoes. Wrap. A la H E B. Yes, you can touch. Wrap a la H E B. And then we have a charcuterie. We have some watermelon. We have some unsweetened tea for our little vintage inspired glasses here. We have gifts. Wow. We have bread that's for aesthetic purposes only. And a little book if you would like to write notes. While we eat? <laughs> Are the plates for me and the glasses and everything? Oh, um, well, no. <laughs> Try to steal my good stuff! You oh, gotta this is very nice. Have you ever done this before? Never. No, this is much it's more my style. When did you do my all this? This morning's just been a blur. It's been a blur. See, I didn't even make it from scratch. Yeah, I made it from scratch. <laughs> oh, it's <was> very good. <laughs> no, the HD one's actually really good. That was so simple to make. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I love this. I love it. I had it in there. I didn't even think about it matching everything when you were finding it. Yeah. I love it. Oh, a box. Oh, I like it a lot. Mm -hmm. It's very like artistic. Thank you. This is so good. because you crazy you crazy dog you crazy you would have run all over the place so we are going to where the rim shopping sephora totally forgot to film at sephora we literally went we only had an hour and my mom was looking for new foundation they discontinued the one that she uses and she has very specific undertone colors so we were like testing a lot of stuff so she is going to mix two different colors we tested everything two different colors from anastasia beverly hills for years i have used just the sephora brow pencil but i've been seeing i follow alicia marie on youtube and she loves this precisely my brow pencil by benefit she loves it so i i tested my shade out um, and to see which one I would like. Ultra fine brow defining pencil. She really likes it. And it's waterproof. I love my NARS lip gloss. It's not um, sticky. It's a really pretty shade. Where is that? <laughs> Maybe I should show you. I have no idea where it is. I, they don't even make it anymore. So when everyone asks, I'm like, I, I don't even know. They don't make it. So I wanted to see if I could find another one that I was going to like. More color in it than the other one that I really like. This one is called Pulsion. Let's see if we're going to like it. Hmm. It's pretty. It's still like on the nudier side, but it gives some color. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I hope you guys had a great Mother's Day. If you're a mom or a fur mom, fur doggy, fur cat, fur anything mom, um, or that you spent time with your family today, we well, had a great day. If you are not already subscribed to the vlog channel, subscribe, hit the bell notification, 
I upload new videos here and over on my other channel every week. So you're not going to want to miss them. And we will see you guys next week. I'm also a mom. This is my baby. This is my baby. It's your dinner time. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? She, when she's hungry, she licks her lips. Oh, are you tired?